Hi, I'm Sunny Megatron, one of Cal Exotics Experts Experts. This is video number two in a series all about BDSM. It's your BDSM 101 from start to finish. So last video, if you haven't watched it, go back and do that. We talked about what exactly BDSM is and how most of us are practicing BDSM without even knowing it. It's not that weird. So now that we've defined BDSM, what's the point? What's the purpose? Why do people like it? There's lots of reasons people like it. It's very individual, like, you know, snowflakes, snowflakes and fingerprints are all different. So there are reasons. Some of us really enjoy playing with the power dynamic aspect of BDSM, the dominant submissive uh, relationship. Some of us just enjoy the role play. Sometimes when we step outside of ourselves into a different character, it gives us permission to do things that we may have been afraid to do. It lets us that are inhibitions a bit. Other people feel that when they share new experiences with their partners, that it fosters intimacy and it brings them much closer together. Now, these are just a few of the reasons, and the reasons are many, but they're kind of awesome. One thing that's important to remember when practicing BDSM, on the outside, you know, looking in, it seems abusive to an extent. Well, one person gets to call the shots and tell the other person what to do and the other person has to do whatever. What if they don't like it? Well, in BDSM, before anything happens, first thing you do is negotiation. You sit down and talk about what you like, what you don't like, what you might want to have happen, or what you're trying to get out of it, the feeling that you're trying to create. So you sit down and you talk about that. Secondly, you establish safe words. Now, in a dominant submissive relationship, it seems like the dominant calls the shots, but it's actually the submissive who calls the shots. We have those safe words. That mean, if we say our word, that means stop. So for some of us, it's a word like banana or periwinkle or cacao, if you're a Portlandia fan. One of the safe word models that I like to use is a graduated stoplight system. In a graduated stoplight system, you're going to use green for, hey, that feels good. I really like it. Do it some more. You're going to use yellow for, hmm, Okay, I don't want you to stop doing that, but don't do it any harder. I'm almost at my threshold. And red means stop. I don't want you to do that anymore. That's kind of cool. The submissive is the one calling the shots. Not only do you talk with your partner ahead of time and talk specifically about here's what I want to do and what I don't want to do, you can give continual and instant feedback and direction during your kinky scene. So I'm going to give you that to chew on a little bit. While you're waiting for next week's video, sit back and think about what might you want to get out of exploring kink? Do you want to grow closer to your partner? Do you want to maybe assume a different role and lose some of your inhibitions? Do you want to, do you really like rope and, and restraints and you want to tie each other up? Whatever it is, think about it and bring it with you next week when you watch part three of BDSM 101. Until next time, I'm Sunny Megatron, one of Cal Exotics' expert sex